Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm the 3D Guy. Today we are in Fusion 360 and we're actually going to be covering six different features on how we can add axes to our 3D model. Uh, before we jump into it, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you can get any updates whenever I'm posting these videos. And let's just move on. Awesome. We have a little line sketch. We have a cube and a cylinder. So to add any axis, we can just go right into the construction area. And we have these six options right here. First, we have an axis through a cylinder, cone, or torus. Torus is kind of like a donut. Um, so we'll click on that, and it's going to ask us for a face. You can see if we, I try clicking on a flat face, it doesn't actually work. So we need to have an actual curved face because we're doing an axis in the middle of that. And I click OK. That's, that's it. It's really straightforward for that one. Next, we have axis perpendicular at point. This is kind of misleading, in my opinion. When it says at point, typically you think of a point, like end of a sketch or on a corner. But that's not what it's, at. it's actually saying. It's prompting us to click a face. And so if we click on this face, you can see it's actually dropping the axis right where you clicked, which is a little bit of an unorthodox feature in my mind because typically you want something that can be well-defined. And in this case, it's just willy-nilly wherever you want to put it. It can be definitely very useful, though, if you need a very unique location of an axis and there's not a really good way of defining it. Um, but, yeah, that's how that one works. Next we have whoop, axis through two planes. First glance, when I saw this, I was like, well, what's the point of this? This is just an edge because you have a plane here and a plane here, and boom, you have your axis. But the nice thing about these features is they don't have to be restrained to a single body. As you can see, I have a cylinder and a cube. So if I select over here, it's going to be creating a, a axis as if they were intersecting. Um, you can see that right there. So that is actually really, really useful to be able to do something like that. And especially if you have a more complicated part than a cube, that can also come into play as well. Next, I'm actually going to hide these guys so they're not distracting. We have access through two points. I personally love this feature. I think it's one of the best out of the, the access adding features. And these are actually actual points it's asking for, but they're calling them vertices here. So if you click on the end of this sketch, for example, and the origin, you can see it's going to create an axis through those two points. Super, super useful because you can get, as you can see right now, some very unique axis uh, to, for features in the future. Next, we have, oh, come on, we have axis through edge. This is another one that I'm kind of like, what's the point? Because if you're in doing like a revolve, typically you can actually select an edge as an axis and there's no problem with that. Um, but it's actually asking for a line. So we could click right here, or we can actually click on a sketch line and do the same thing and add an axis from a sketch. So that's kind of a cool um, feature that you're able to do. What's going on? There we go. Last but not least, we have axis perpendicular to face at point. Kind of wordy. But what that's saying is if you click on a face and then you click on a point, it's going to create an axis perpendicular to that face. Um, to kind of make it a little bit more interesting, let's say we click on this face. It's going to do the exact same thing. That was a dumb, dumb decision. Let's click on that face. And you can see, yeah, it is perpendicular to the face that we selected. And yeah, that is it. Those are all the different ways that we can add an axis, an axis, sorry, to a 3D model. If you really found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button. If you like these videos and you have any comments, please add them below. Um, I've really been enjoying these and, and learning myself. And yeah, I hope you found it enjoyable. And as always, keep modeling.